In this video, we'll take a closer look at the resource building block. Resources are items that are needed to process work at an activity. For our bank simulation, the teller and mortgage advisor activities will need employees to carry out those tasks. Let's add these to the simulation by dragging resources onto the model. We'll name the resources teller and mortgage advisor. In the properties menu, we can define the number of available resources. In our case, let's say this is a local bank. So we only have one mortgage advisor and one teller. Okay, let's add our teller to the relevant activity by choosing the resources button, click add, and then choose your teller. We'll then repeat this process for the mortgage advisor activity. Now let's add one final resource to our model. This time the resource isn't an employee, it's an ATM machine. Resources don't always have to be people. They could be rooms, pieces of equipment, transportation vehicles, and anything in between. So again, as this is a small bank, we have a single ATM and we have our resources in place. Let's start adding more details to make them reflect our real life process. Let's say our mortgage advisor only works in the morning. We can quickly set this up by clicking on the resource and selecting the shift dependent checkbox. Click shift work patterns and then click new. We have a morning shift that starts from 9 o'clock and finishes at 1 o'clock and an afternoon shift that starts at 1 o'clock and ends at 6 o'clock. We can set the availability of our mortgage advisor to one in the morning shift and zero in the afternoon shift. Another way to do this is through the resource schedule. This is where you can set how many resources are available at different intervals of time throughout the day. Take a look at our help files for more information on this feature. Okay, we now have the process routing and resources for our bank in place. In the next video, we'll look at using the simulation to get our results.